What's up guys? Today I'm going to talk about editing on the iPad Pro using LumaFusion. Uh, LumaFusion is an excellent iPad video editor and iPhone iOS video editor. It's very reasonably priced compared to anything else and I tend to really like it because it's really nice to be able to edit your videos when you're out and about. The thing that's changed about my workflow though is today I picked up this. This unit is a SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. It's 500 gigs and it does not require power of any kind. It just uh, connects with that USB Type-C port that my camera won't focus on because it's being a butthole. Okay, so there we go. There you go. So Type-C port on the bottom. It's got a little hangy thing up there to uh, hang it from a keychain or put a lanyard on it or whatever. So I'm going to use it to load all of my footage on and then connect the SSD to LumaFusion so that I can directly pull stuff from the SSD into the editing app, edit, and then write it back to this SSD. The other thing that I'm going to use for this operation is this dude right here. This is an Anchor USB Type-C hub. Uh, it has, uh, on one side we got card readers and uh, an HDMI port, and then that is the PD power port, it does power pass through. And then on the other side, we have a couple of uh, USB 3 ports and also a USB type C. So that is pretty useful. What I'm gonna do is connect my hub to my iPad Pro, and plug in power just to be weird. And then I'm gonna connect the SSD to the hub. Nope. So far, so good. Uh, what I've got is I shot some test footage on my GoPro Hero 8 Black. So I'm gonna pull the SD card out, which is always an ass ache. I'm gonna pull the SD card out and I'm going to stick it into my little hub here, the micro SD that is. Not that you would be confused. It's the card that's inside the camera, my dudes. Pretty sure you'll figure it out. Okay. Now I'm going to open the, uh, so now I'm going to open the files app and you can see over here on the left, might as well use my mouse, I have the Hero 8 show up, there's all the stuff on it, I have Extreme SSD, that's obviously the SSD, so I'm going to go into the Hero 8, I'm going to copy a few of these files, see that one, oh, that's not what I wanted, I forgot to hit select, select, I'm going to select this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. That looks pretty good. More. Copy. I'm going to go over here to Extreme SSD. I'm going to make a folder. For some reason, the first time that you go to the SSD in the Files app, it takes a second. There we go. Now it's up. So this is just going to be called Test Video. Enter. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to paste all the things that I copied. And then I'm gonna cut this section of the video out because it's not very interesting to watch me um, copy and paste things. All right, we've got everything copied over. Now it's on my SSD. And you could, of course, actually just use the SD card and import it directly into LumaFusion, but I like to put everything on the SSD for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, it's a lot faster. Uh, the, I'm using a SanDisk Extreme Pro uh, micro SD card, and it says uh, read speeds of up to 170 meg, and the, uh, the SanDisk SSD has read speeds of up to 550 meg. I found that when you have a bunch of relatively large files, LumaFusion likes it a lot more when the media that it's coming off of is faster, so that tends to work better. Also, it's kind of nice for me because if I'm traveling, assuming travel is ever a thing again, um, I can make videos, put all my footage in different folders on the external SSD, put the finished product in the folder that contains all the elements of that video, and then when I get home, I can load this all to my external hard drive for backup, which is what I do with my videos. So I feel like it'll just be easier to have just one disk that has everything that I need to put into my backup system. So that's the reason I do it that way. Okay. So now as you see, we've got everything in the um, test video folder on the SSD. We're going to fire up LumaFusion and 
we're going to get the videos over to LumaFusion. We create a new project, call it test video. It's going to be 24 frames per second. Bonk. And then we're going to hit over here. If you're not on files, just go to files under sources, hit add link to folder. And as you can see, it'll pop up. I'm just going to do the whole SSD because I don't want to have to do this every time for each individual folder, but you know, do whatever you want. Done. Now extreme SSD shows up over here in files. There's my test video folder. And now I can grab whatever footage I want. You'll see it load right here that it's actually pretty fast. This is a 20 second 4K 24 frames per second video from the GoPro. And from there, you can pretty much just edit as usual. Pull them in. See, pulls that in basically instantly. Let's pull this video in. This is everything I've shot here is uh, 24 frame per second 4K. So we can just go ahead and pull all of our stuff in. Nope, that showed up. As you can see, it does take just a second to load up, but it's much faster, especially if you're used to trying to pull them in from iCloud, which is what I used to do, was put my SD card into my Thunderbolt dock and then transfer everything to an iCloud drive folder and then pull that down on the uh, iPad. And yeah, that takes forever. This goes much faster. Okay, now I've got all my clips in here, so I'm gonna export this and I'm gonna do the movie and I'm gonna do it to files and all those settings are fine with me. We're gonna hit export and write this main. Uh, I'll come back when this is done because there's no reason to sit here for a minute. Okay, so now we've got our video. It pops this up whenever the video is done processing. You can actually just go ahead and save it to the SSD so that you don't have to do anything to put it on there. This process takes a couple of minutes. I'm going to stop the video and restart it when uh, it's done. Okay, that actually took somewhere under a minute, but now you can see if you go into your Files app, your test video is there. Mm -hmm. There's Ava. Nice, huh? At any rate. <laughs> well, I was talking about you in the video, but either way, that works. So. I like this setup, especially for a very portable setup. Um, I do wish the iPad had a couple of USB Type-C ports. That would definitely be on my wish list because that would eliminate some of the dongles and stuff. But overall, this is a relatively cheap and easy setup to have, um, you know, be able to write, save things to the SSD, even from multiple cameras. That's another big benefit. A lot of times I shoot both on the ZV-1, which I'm shooting on now, and on the Hero 8 Black, and I will combine both of the footage into a single video. So instead of having to put one card in, pull that in, you know, all that stuff, I can just do the, um, I can just put everything onto the, the SanDisk external all at once. And as a matter of fact, since the GoPro takes a micro SD card and the Sony takes a full size SD card and this has two SD card slots, I can actually stick both in at once, go to one, copy all the stuff, paste to the SSD, go to the other, copy all the stuff, paste to the SSD. And then later on when I get ready to edit the video, I can have everything on just the SSD in one folder, just ready to go. So I think that about wraps it up for this edition. Hopefully you find this information useful. If so, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will continue making videos. I mean, I'm gonna continue anyway. You really can't stop me, but that will encourage me. All right, later.